possible that these algae nodes were not necessarily deposited on the set deposited on the sediment from the surface ocean, but maybe they were deposited somewhere else, uh, say you know, between Massachusetts and Greenland, and then bottom currents may have brought those particles to the sites of deposition where we've been taking our, our sediment cores. That's one possibility. Another possibility is the phytoplankton that produced these algae nodes may have changed somewhat the season in which they thrive, in which they're most likely, likely to be producing algae nodes. So we're trying to test both those things. And Hopefully we'll be able to say definitively in a year or two whether the alginone paleo temperature records from the Northwest Atlantic are reliable and robust, or possibly that they're unreliable and should be removed from these global compilations of temperature because maybe they, the alginones were affected in from elsewhere, or maybe there's been a seasonal change in the, in the lifestyle of these organisms.